everybody. Welcome to Diamond Secrets Revealed. Why does my diamond glow at the nail salon? Well, today we are going to talk all about fluorescence. I'm going to talk about what fluorescence is, how does it affect your diamond's look, and how does it affect your diamond's value. My name is Jennifer Vyshinsky. I am a GIA gemologist, jewelry designer, and appraiser, and I love to talk and teach about all the different gemstones, especially diamond. So let me let you in on everything you need to know about fluorescence in a diamond and what to look out for when buying your next diamond. So you may have experienced this very scenario. I had an appraisal customer come to me saying that she was at the nail salon wearing her new engagement ring and diamond wedding band. She put her hands in the ultraviolet light for her nails to dry, and she saw some of her stones glowed. She was freaked out and was wondering, are these diamonds even real? Why are they glowing? Are they worthless? Why would you have some glowing stones and some not glowing stones in your jewelry? Is that normal? Well, I'm going to answer all of these questions and more. So let's dive in. What is fluorescence? Why did some of her diamonds glow under the ultraviolet light at the nail salon? Fluorescence is the visible light that some diamonds emit when they're exposed to ultraviolet light. So this takes in a little bit of science. The ultraviolet wavelengths, which is the wavelength range just below the visible spectrum, so right below the red to purple colors that you see, these wavelengths excite the electrons within the atoms of the diamond, causing them to quickly jump to a higher level. When these electrons come back down to its original position, they're slower and emit a visible energy known as fluorescence. So this is where you see that glow of color. Once the UV light is removed, the diamond will stop fluorescing. It's only underneath the light source that you will see this glow. So you may be asking, how common is fluorescence? According to GIA, which is the Gemological Institute of America, approximately 25 to 35% of the diamonds show some degree of fluorescence. So not all diamonds fluoresce. Other gemstones fluoresce also, but only diamonds fluoresce blue. And when it does, it's considered one of the identifying characteristics. The most common fluorescence color is blue, but they can fluoresce white, yellow, orange, red, and green, like these colors here. And you can see the different intensities and the different colors, but these are much more rare to see. Like I said, the most common is the blue in different intensities. The key point is that yes, a small percentage does fluoresce, but most diamonds do not. So it's not a key determining factor to separate diamond from look-alike colorless stones or simulants. So how is fluorescence checked and graded? Fluorescence in a lab is checked in a controlled environment. It is examined before color grading and viewed in a black box like this one here. And it has a long wave and short wave ultraviolet light on top. The diamond is placed table down or upside down and judged under long wave ultraviolet light. And then it's compared to that grading scale on top to see the intensity. So in order to view the intensity accurately, you must have a dark or very dim room or at least have the diamond covered from any light source other than the UV light, like this light box here. So the intensity of the fluorescence is described as none, faint, medium, strong, and very strong. So you can see the different intensities from none to very strong in this picture. So the lab will indicate the color of the fluorescence if the intensity is medium or stronger, and this is noted on the grading certificate. So how does this affect your diamond and what should you look for? Well, GIA reports that only 10% of the 25 to 35% of all the diamonds that they have seen fluoresce has influenced the appearance of the diamond. So what does that mean? 
If you're looking to buy a diamond with a very high color, like D or E, you want to be careful of a fluorescence intensity of strong or very strong blue. There are occasions when this high fluorescence can cause the diamond to look slightly purple or oily or hazy in natural sunlight. Since sunlight has UV rays, it can show these negative effects. So this ring here has a very strong blue fluorescent diamond in it. And you can see that it has that tint of purple in the sunlight. So you wanna avoid these negative effects. But GIA reports that fewer than 0.2% of the fluorescent diamonds submitted exhibit this effect. So it is pretty rare. On the other hand, if you are looking to buy a diamond with a lower color that has a tint of yellow, like the colors from K to Z, then fluorescence can actually help it to look whiter. Since the blue fluorescence cancels out the yellow, so it will actually help it. You can see in this picture here, you have different intensities of the diamond on uh, fluorescence, but face up, it actually looks a little bit whiter. So here are my tips while considering a diamond with fluorescence. In the trade, diamonds with medium to very strong fluorescence are discounted much more than a diamond with none or faint. So you can actually save money buying a stone that is slightly lower in color, like J or K, with medium or strong fluorescence, and it could look slightly whiter. This is completely up to you. As I've been saying, always have a few stones to compare and most definitely take a look at the diamond in the sunlight to see if there's any negative effects from the fluorescence. This is especially true for the higher colorless the higher colorless grades of D and E with strong or very strong blue fluorescence. These I would strongly advise against and must be checked under a few light sources to be cautious. So if you don't see anything, then great. But if you see the stone purple, oily, or hazy, I would suggest to, see, to choose something else. On a positive note, fluorescence does not affect the brilliance and the sparkle of the stone. And for the stones with a tint of yellow or brown, it can only boost the color to be a little whiter, which in my opinion is great. As far as smaller stones that make up jewelry, including engagement mountings and wedding bands, it would be very time consuming and hence costly to examine and separate these small diamonds by fluorescence. So it is common for them to be sprinkled into all of your diamond jewelry. Like this wedding band here, you can see some fluoresce and some do not, but you will never see this. You will only ever discover which ones have fluorescence when you go to a nightclub or if you go to the nail salon or a tanning salon and they have that UV light, or if you're standing under a black light. Other than that, you'll never know. There are very fine jewelers who will take the extra time to make sure that they have a piece with none or faint fluorescence, but you'll definitely pay a very high premium. And then there are jewelry designers who have started to design pieces that arrange the fluorescent stones to be part of the design or to show a pattern like this pendant here, you can see the fluorescent stones it, are arranged in the shape of an F, so an initial. And to me, that's pretty cool to show off this uh, cool effect of fluorescence and make it part of the design. So in summary, for all of the C's, carat weight, clarity, cut, color with or without fluorescence, your decision should never be based on a grading certificate alone. You must see it with your own eyes and feel if one speaks to you more than another. Fluorescence in higher intensities will cost less because of the stigma it has, but if present can actually boost the color of most diamonds. Only a small handful in the colorless range will negatively affect the look and this uh, this is why you must look at a fluorescent stone 
in natural daylight. The only other negative is if you uh, want to sell the diamond. So since you're paying less for a strong fluorescence because they're offered at a discount price, you will get far less money back if you were to sell it. So maybe about 50 to 70% off of the lowest wholesale cost, which is a lot, a lot of discount off and you won't get hardly anything close to what you paid for it. So it is better to keep so it's better to keep it and make like a disco ring or something beautiful out of that fluorescent stone.